need I say more, Universal have released their engagement material. I'm so excited about this. I headed to the Universal site at the north of the site to the lake area and where Universal Studios UK could be and I'm so excited to share the new information that has just come out from Universal with you. Grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's go through it. I haven't looked at it, I want to look at it first with you. Let's do this. So uh, yeah, why not subscribe because I'm so excited to bring you more of what's happening at Universal UK. So let me take you through the gump. There's a welcome page. It first says, last year we confirmed the purchase of approximately 476 acre parcel land just south of Bedford. That's where I take you in an earlier vlog. Go check that out because it was so exciting seeing the site. I'll leave the link below for you. Universal are exploring whether they can go ahead with the site and I'll take you through the bits that really excite me in this gulf of information that has come from Universal. I am so excited. On this first page, Universal is saying, we're beginning a period of public engagement in connection, sorry, that's my cat's tail. If you haven't seen him, go check out the cat vlogs because he's amazing. We're beginning a period of public engagement in connection with the planning proposal for the potential project. We would like to hear your feedback about our potential proposal and now is your best opportunity to influence the project. We are particularly interested in understanding what is important to you when considering these potential plans and how we might best celebrate the history and heritage of the area, improve local transport, protect wildlife and ecology and enhance local walkways. I am absolutely loving this. Universal are really saying they really want to do something good for the area. It's not just about here we are, we're just gonna put down some concrete and some roller coasters. It is, we want to make a change to the area for the better and that really excites me. This whole project really excites me. The Universal UK project is something I am so excited about because it's not far from where I live and I'm really excited to see where it's gonna go. So Universal haven't made a final decision yet but this is the whole process is going through seeing the feasibility of the project and yeah checking what the feeling is out there and where they can take it and I love the fact they're talking about bringing the heritage from the area and really involving the local area in the UK near Bedford where the Universal site is and that to me is amazing that a theme park is really engaging with this I'm really thinking about how they can think about the ecology in the area and really look after the area they're being in. And this site is a site, if you didn't know, that has always, for a while, been a brickworks and has had planning permission for an industrial site, something else. And I think, personally, this is my view, that a universal park would be an, an amazing opportunity in the area, bring something to the area, but also look after the area. And I'm so excited to find out what else is in. This is just the welcome section. So stay here because there's some other stuff coming up which I have no clue about. In this opening section, they also talk about the theme parks, other theme parks they've got. Obviously there's Universal Orlando Resort, Universal Studios Hollywood, of course. Universal Studios Japan, been very fortunate to have gone to. Universal Beijing Resort and Universal Studios Singapore. The next section, exploring in Europe. Let's take you through this. This potential project will not just be Universal's first brand of theme park resort in the UK, but our first in Europe. It's true, there's nothing else Universal in Europe. It means Bedford would be the host to one of only a few world-class theme parks and resorts. It would also create another significant reason for visiting the UK. That is something that's amazing. It would bring more tourism to the UK. 
they address why the UK. We know Universal's incredible experiences resonate with people of all ages and millions of UK residents travel to our theme parks and resorts around the world every year. We are excited by this potential opportunity to bring the world-class experience right here for people to enjoy. We know Universal's incredible experiences resonate with people of all ages and millions of UK residents travel to our theme parks and resorts around the world every year to bring this world-class experience right here for people to enjoy in the UK. The UK is a very attractive market for a new theme park with its large population, creative industries, strong tourism, transportation infrastructure and links to Europe. In 2023, the UK welcomed 38 million tourists. Then they go on to say, why Bedford? So why are Universal thinking about Bedford? They go on to say, the site is located to the south of Bedford Town Centre, near Kempston Hardwick. I know where that is. Check out the link to the video where I went to Kempston Hardwick train station and checked out the site. It includes the former Kempston Hardwick brickwork site, as well as some fields to the south, none of which form part of the Greenbelt. That's good to know. They're not bulldozing Greenbelt land down. And having been there, although it's in an area in the country, there is a lot of industrial area there already around the site. The site as a whole is, is already allocated for development by the council through the local plan. So it is a site that's already been up and running as a development site for something. The site is also an ideal location with convenient fast rail links to London and London Luton Airport. That's so exciting that it's easy to get to and accessible if you live abroad or us here in the UK. It has a size and flat topography which is suitable for a large theme park site. Both the site and Bedford are well connected to the rest of the UK. There also are plans to deliver additional transport, amazing. So that's good to know. They're encouraging more rail travel to the Universal UK site, they're going to say. They say, for over 100 years, this area was a principal supplier of bricks to the British construction industry. Wow, so it's an area that has been industrial. The industry shaped the growth of Kempston Hardwick, Stuart B and other local villages. And while the site's brickworks were closed and demolished many decades ago, they still form a part of this area's rich history. I wonder, are Universal gonna include like the industry or the brickworks and involve that in the site. I love that idea, if that is gonna happen. Ah, they're going to say they want to involve the council and the local community on ways they could reflect and celebrate the area's history. So maybe in their plans, but would like to incorporate some of the bricks on site. Wow, into some of the potential buildings. How exciting is that? Really involving the area and heritage. I love the fact that Universal really want to commemorate and celebrate the local Bedford area and Kempston Hardwick and the brickworks. That is something that is so lovely and exciting. And the benefits to Bedford and UK economy, so it's just a general overlook of the things, some of the things I've already discussed actually. So yeah, I'll leave the link to the Universal UK project site. So you can go check that out. There's also case studies. Oh, it's case studies of things that Universal is committed to higher education partnerships year round to support students interested, interested in the themed entertainment industry and careers in science, technology and engineering and mathematics. So it's not just a theme park comes here, this is really going to benefit like students and people in the UK and the area at large in like careers and career opportunities and education and that's something also that is so exciting. They go on to say about our planning 
process and engagement. I won't go through that as it's, that it's all about exploring the feasibility of the project, but I'll leave the link to the Universal, the Universal Project site, so you can, you can go check it out for yourself. And this proposal sheet is the most exciting for me because the zones on it, look. So this is the site, West Gateway Zone, Core Zone, how exciting. The most excited I am is Lake Zone. Hello, what is gonna be in Lake Zone? It feels like they're gonna really protect the other lake areas that are on site, because they're here. This is where, up here, where I did my walk in this area. So yeah, Lake Zone is really exciting. So excited about the zones. These zones are very exciting. What is gonna be in them? We can only like guess at the moment, but make sure you have your say. This is your opportunity to have your say what you want to happen with Universal. I'll leave the link to the Universal website the Universal UK project, how exciting. I'm so excited about seeing this. I'd love to hear how you feel about the project. I'm so excited. If you want to subscribe to my channel, why not subscribe, hit the circle here. There are gonna be more Universal updates or check out this video. Thank you so much for watching.